what's up youtube it's uh and uh checking in with y'all um give y'all some updates uh basically um recently i had a uh endoscopy and uh a bone marrow done uh bone marrow biopsy uh for those of y'all that don't know uh an endoscopy is uh, when they take like a camera and they stick it down your throat and they look into your stomach and they see like what's going on. Uh, for me, they did the endoscopy because uh, previously, like I told you, I was bleeding um, internally. And so they wanted to see what was going on there. Um, good news for both actually. Um, We'll start off with my endoscopy results. Um, my uh, my endoscopy, uh, you get the results back like immediately because it's like a camera obviously and they get like the live results right there when they're looking at it. Um, basically, uh, they saw some hemorrhaging, uh, but no active bleeding. Uh, and they saw some petechiae in my stomach that could have caused uh, a little bit of oozing, a little bit of blood to uh, pass through my system. And that's what was happening probably like uh, last week. Uh, but like I said, they saw no active bleeding or anything. And they basically said, the only thing that you can really do is just keep your platelets as high as possible. So that's what the doctors have been doing. And that's what they're gonna continue to do is just keep giving me platelet transfusions and uh, wait for my numbers to just come up on their own and then it should just heal. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's good for the endoscopy. Uh, but also I got my bone marrow results and I have been tripping over that. Sorry. Uh, super nervous about it all week. Uh, it's just not been... <laughs> something i've been looking forward to i just didn't want to know uh, for those of y'all that don't know like uh the bone marrow biopsy will show uh how much cancer i have basically uh it shows uh your blast cells percentage and that number could have said anything i've been off chemo for three weeks and you know like y'all know i've been in the hospital just being treated for infections uh, with the lung infection and the bleeding and the blood infection. Uh, but they needed to check my bone marrow because uh, uh, basically with the trial, there's like a, a number of days after the chemo, you get your, uh, your bone marrow checked to see what the chemo did. And so, but I haven't been on chemo, so I was really worried about that number, uh, but uh, I did get my pre preliminary results and it came back with 2%. Uh, that's it, just 2% and that is great. Obviously we want it to be zero. Uh, we don't want any cancer, but you know, that's improbable. Um, 2% <laughs> that's awesome uh, especially just being away from chemo for so long like it's just it's it's really crazy um, I I'm happy uh, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm really happy I'm at a loss of words uh, uh, it's that's good news it's really good news and uh, uh, hopefully we can get this um we can get these infections knocked out real quick. Uh, and then they can just throw me into transplant and we can move forward and we can beat this cancer and uh, I'll never have to worry about it ever again. Uh, but yeah, just just updating y'all. Um, things are looking all right for right now. That, that, that's good. Obviously those numbers can those numbers can change at any time as well now. Um, we don't want to get my hopes too high, but that's definitely positive. Sorry about that. That's definitely a positive thing. Uh, it's, 
it's just really good. That's just great news. To give y'all an example, um, before I started the chemo, uh, I was at, I think, 35% blasts. And that's full relapse. Uh, and it was bad. Uh, I was, they, they needed to knock out that uh, cancer with the chemo, and they sure did. Uh, my, after my first round of chemo, uh, when I did this adult trial, it was like 7%, I think. And then after the second round, obviously, they knocked it down to 2 So um, that's really good. Uh, really, really good. Uh, let's just keep praying. Uh, keep positive thoughts going. Uh, and let's, let's just keep the good news coming. Like, uh, you know, let's stay positive that's, that's all I got to do is just stay positive and I'm gonna be okay I know I'm gonna be okay uh but just thought I would let y'all know um that's what I know so far and uh it's 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 fucking awesome it's what it is uh let's obviously though like like I said um I have AML that's a super aggressive leukemia Anything can happen, but uh, that happened. So that's one positive thing, and I'm gonna take it. That's what I, I'm gonna take whatever positive things that I can get out of this, and that's that's one. So uh, that's that. Um, they do wanna, y'all know I, I explained to y'all the CT thing, my arm turned purple, whatever all that stuff and I'm traumatized from it. They do want to repeat another CT of my lungs especially to make sure it's not a fungal infection. Uh, they tried to make me do it this morning, but I begged them. I was like, please, I'm not ready for that yet. So uh, they're gonna let me chill this weekend and uh, Monday I uh, will get my CT done and uh, I'll have some more news for y'all about uh, my infections and stuff, but for now, not worried about it. That's Monday's problem. Uh, just gonna enjoy this weekend as best I can and uh, relax. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I've got for y'all. Um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Two uh, percent. 2% so everything everything's gonna be good everything's gonna be all right so um that's that's it that's all I got for y'all um that's it so I'll talk to y'all later